If you're an iPod, iPhone or iPad user, chances are you've got a ton of music stored via iTunes on one of these. But what if you want to access that music with a media streamer like a Sonos, Apple TV or even a Boxy? Well, if you've done it on your computer, that's going to have to be permanently connected to your network and on in order for that device to access it. The alternative is one of these, a NAS device, which can store all of your media, can be positioned right out of the way, and can be left active and ready to distribute your tunes whenever you need them. But how do you transfer your library across? And how do you ensure that all future rips and downloads go straight onto this? Stay tuned to find out. The first thing you're going to need to do is get your computer treating your NAS device like a built-in hard drive, as that will make it much easier to transfer your files and will let you rip and download files directly to it using iTunes. On a Windows PC, this is known as mapping a network drive. Now, the software that you used when you first installed your NAS might have mapped one for you, but if not, it's a fairly simple process. Simply navigate to the My Computer folder and click Map Network Drive. Next, you need to click the Browse button, which should bring up a list of all the drives currently attached to your network. They all have different names. As you can see, the one for this Synology is called Disk Station, but check your manual to find out what yours is. Next, you need to choose the shared folder that you're going to map. As we're looking at iTunes and music today, we're going to use the music folder. Highlight that and press OK. Make sure the reconnect at login box is ticked so that it automatically reconnects every time you turn your computer on and press finish. As you can see, the computer folder now contains the disk station as a Z drive. And if we double click on that, we get a nice empty music folder ready for us to transfer our iTunes library to. On a Mac, the process is slightly different. You need to start by going to the Go tab and down to Connect to Server. Press the Browse button and again you should get a list of all the drives currently attached to your network. We click on Disk Station again, click on Music and as you can see the drive has popped up on the desktop. However, though our music folder is now mounted for this session, once we log out it will disappear. We need to make that permanent by going to the Apple symbol at the top left and going into System Preferences. From here, find the Accounts button just down here and switch to the Login Items tab on the right. At this point, you just drag the new icon that was created on your desktop for the music folder and drag it all the way across into this window here. From now on, every time you log into your computer, it will automatically access that drive. Now the next stage is obviously getting your iTunes library from your computer onto the NAS device. So I'm just going to minimise iTunes on this display and find the default iTunes library. So if you go to the standard music button in the start menu, this will take you straight through. You can see the iTunes folder here. Right click and I'm going to copy it with a left click. We then need to go back to the computer folder, which thanks to Windows 7 you can just do over here. Double click on our newly created network drive, right click on that blank window and click paste. Now again, the process on the Apple Mac is just slightly different but it's just as easy. We're just going to go to the top right corner here to the standard Macintosh HD and double click on that. Then we need to find our user profile over under the Places tab here. Here it's Matt Jennings, the cameraman. Click that, click on music and then we're just going to drag and drop this iTunes folder straight onto our newly created network drive. This will now copy your entire iTunes library across. For this video, that only consists of three albums, and if you've got a bigger library, it can take quite a while to do. Just be a bit patient. Now it's just a case of telling iTunes where your music folder is now located. So we'll go back into iTunes here, and what we want is the Preferences menu which on the PC is under the Edit tab and on the Mac is in the iTunes tab. From here we need to go to the Advanced tab at the top of this new menu and here in this box you'll see the old location of your iTunes folder. You'll tell this because it will have the C at the beginning. We click Change, scroll down to Computer, 
and then you'll see your new mapped network drive here. Double click on that, highlight the iTunes folder and click select folder. Then we just need to click OK on this remaining window. If you get this message, it's just because you've got iTunes set to automatically organise your files and it's fine to let it do that with this new folder location. So just click yes. So that's the PC all set up. For the Mac, it's slightly different, but still just as easy. Again, click on change, highlight the disk station, highlight music, highlight iTunes, and press open. Click OK. And there you have it. Both computers are now set up, which means as long as they're connected to the network, every time you rip a disk or download from the iTunes store, the music will automatically be added to the NAS device, which means it's then available to every other device on your network.